What's up guys, moving on to a couple of more expressions that we have to simplify. So we got 3 to the negative 5 over 3 to the negative 6 squared. So as I mentioned before, first thing I like to do, always simplify the numerators and denominators first. So 3 to the negative 5, can't simplify that. And then this here though, negative 6 times 2, that would end up being negative 12, right? Here, we just use this law this exponent law, so we were able to multiply those exponents. Now you gotta be careful, if this was three to the negative six, three to the two, then you'd have to add these. This would end up being three to the negative four, right? But because it was in this format, because we're squaring that whole expression, we can multiply those exponents. And then from here, we could simplify. Now you could subtract these exponents, so negative five minus negative 12, that would give you positive seven. So this ends up being three to the power of seven. But before doing that, I like to take a preliminary step, as I mentioned in the video before, whenever I have negative exponents in a fraction, I like to just bring them over, whether to the numerator or to the denominator. So this three to the negative 12, I'm gonna bring up. That would change to three positive 12. And this three to the negative five, I bring down. So that would change to three to the power of positive five. And now 12 minus five gives us three to the power of seven. So same thing we would have got here. I just find it easier to deal with positive exponents. It gives me a better idea of what I am dealing with. And three to the power of seven ends up being 2,187. So that is the answer for number one. Moving on to number two, uh, we got three to the power of negative four times this fraction here, three to the power of negative five times three to the power of two. So here, what I can do is I can actually put this three to the negative four over one, and I can multiply the numerators and the denominators. So this would end up being three to the negative four times three to the negative five all over one times three to the two, which is just three to the two. <clears throat> now, notice that we are, when we multiply these two, we are adding the exponents. So negative four plus negative five would give, us, would give us three to the negative nine. So you can do that. What I like to do though, is first bring the negative exponents down. So this would end up being, we'd be left with a one up top, right? Nothing is gonna be left in the numerator this would end up being three to the positive four, three to the positive five, and this would be three to the positive two. And now this ends up being what? One over uh, four plus five plus two gives us three to the 11. And we're running out of room here, so I'm actually gonna just erase this three to the 11. You could just continue it. And the answer ends up being one over 177,147. That's what three to the power of 11 is. All right, so that's the answer for number two. Again, you could check these in your calculator as well, plugging in the original expressions, make sure you get that same value. And if it's a decimal that you get here, just take one divided by that number and it should be the same decimal value. And number three, we have five to the power of two times five to the negative three or five to the negative six. Now, as we did in number two, notice how I combined these two numerators, but in this one, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. Let's say that I have five squared over one. And then notice we have a negative six, negative three here as a fraction, so we could flip these exponents. So basically, five to the negative six would come up, so that would be five to the positive six, and this negative three would come down, so this would be five to the power of positive three, right? But we could have also just multiplied like we did before, so five to the power of two times five to the negative three, and then you would add the exponents, right? Multiple ways to do it. So from here, five to the power of two times five to the power of six gives us five to the power of eight, Sorry, that looks like a 58. So that would be five to the power of eight. This would be uh, five to the power of three times one just gives us five to the power of three. This ends up being five to the power of five, which ends up being 3,125, right? So if you did 
multiply these first. So 5 to the 2 times 5 to the negative 3 would give us 5 to the negative 1. And it'd be 5 to the negative 6 in the bottom times 1. Bring the negative 6 up, bring the negative 1 down, subtract the exponent. 6 minus 1 ends up being 5. So you end up here as well. So either way works. That's what I mentioned in the first video. There's multiple ways to do these. So whatever you are more comfortable with, just make sure that you're getting the right answer every time. So here we have 3 over 5 to the power of negative 2. And if we look at our exponent laws, we'd be dealing with this one here. So what are the steps? We have a fraction to the power of a negative exponent. First thing we do is we flip the fraction. So this a over b turns into b over a. And we change the exponent to positive. So this would be 5 over 3 to the power of positive 2. Right? Flip the fraction, change the exponent to a positive. And then from here, to simplify this, we can use um, this law. And I actually showed it here as well. Basically what you're doing is you're taking that exponent and distributing it to the numerator and the denominator. So this would end up being 5 squared over 3 squared, which gives us 25 over 9. So that can't simplify any further. Right, so 3 over 5 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 25 over 9.